The president appointed the deputy inspector general of police, Usman Baba, as the acting inspector general of police with immediate effect. However, Nigerians have taken to social media to express their views about the termination of the appointment of Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Adamu as inspector general of police. The appointment is coming at exactly two months and three days um, into the three-month extension, which he had asked for a little bit for at the time. What are your thoughts? In the, in, for us, we don't really care why he was removed. And the issue is how. But we should care. The reason why I say we don't do the how isn't so important because, but listen, we want there to be a resolution concerning the security. Yes, so if your do. boss feels that you're incapable of it, he has the prerogative to say, you know what, I'm sacking you. I personally, when I saw this, I just laughed. I said, for me, this is not a sack. Mm. I do not see it as a sack. He has expired. He, has, he had finished his tenure. And it was extended. And I'm sure that when that extension came, it came with agreements. They had a discussion that you're just here in the interim. Why we find someone else? Three months. Why we find someone else to fill in mm. the gap? So at any time the person is ready, you can go. I want to believe that it's not like they pulled the rug under his feet. Mm -hmm. He was aware that any moment he would go. But I, I looked through the CV of the person who has been appointed, mm -hmm. and I saw that he's a graduate, he has masters, he may be able to do the job. I do not know who is supposed mm -hmm. to be in line before mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. I do not know how the president does his selection. We know that he works with people he feels he knows. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm still, still another Muslim. You sacked yes, another Muslim. Another, another, another. That's, that's in, the, issue. in the place of equity. That's mm -hmm. the issue that is heated and everybody is fighting for secession, fighting for actualization of the, their own um, um, state Region. Mm. in this anyway, country. For me, my own opinion is um, Nigeria does what Nigeria does, mm. again. Because I was looking for the anger, the outrage. I was trying to dig it out of me. It I mean, it's everyday story. This is how we do things. Mm. Someday, somebody wakes up on one side of the bed and decides that this, is, this person will be given mm -hmm. an extension for three months. He's right in the middle of doing something. Mm. And then you put someone Take else. Him out. If me, I worked for government, I w uh, if I was asked to work for government, I would mm. refuse. Because yeah. it's so embarrassing. It can so, mess you up. Yes, it, it just does not make sense. Mm. How do you do that? Okay, so now you now bring in this person. How long should, how comfortable should this person feel in doing their job? Yeah. What, what should give this person any incentive to put in their best to because do the job? Because in yeah. two weeks he can just be asked to leave yeah. and yeah. for no just cause. I'd mentioned earlier that the um, Ohanes and Dibo are really upset about this appointment, saying that this is not showing equity in any form. I do not know how the president will listen. He has appointed. I do not know if he's going to be called to call him back and put somebody of an Igbo extraction there. Yeah, he's still acting, but we know how these things go. In a few months now, he will be, he will be given that position. Let so let's focus on the job. Can he do the job? The truth is, imagine if this new appointed um, acting IG came out to speak to us. I listen, I have been given this role. This is what I'm going to do. This is what's happening in Imo. I'm going to go with my men. I'm going to do this here. This happened in the Southwest. We see some kind of leadership. Then we think, okay, maybe this thing was done right. But when there's just total silence, okay, he's been appointed and we just keep quiet. But then we begin to think of different means. Why was it done? Was this political? Is this somebody's? Um, this, was this Avengers against somebody? Like, talk to us. I, I this, think, they, I think that's that, just to keep him quiet. I, I, think, I think that um, we have watched too much CNN. So I've got to used to information. responsive information <laughs> based kind of leadership. Mm. You know, we've watched too much international they news where they into now. Hey, but mm. Mariah, they don't know that we are we have become that exposed that we are now a Sorosoke age. Mm. Like they don't they're not used to this new generation of Nigerians that mm. now ask, ask and questions. demand mm. questions. And I think we mustn't let the, their silence make us feel like we are not consequential. We can't continue to ask questions. We must continue to ask questions until they realize we will not stop. Mm. That's on one side. On the other side is the military isn't used to talking. Like, do you know, it's been tough trying to get a military official to come here and talk about what, 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 what Nigeria can do to help them. Yeah, the police, security. military, they don't talk. Yeah. They just feel like you... We, yeah, civilians. Better, just, yes, you, don't, you cannot understand. I think we're giving them too much credit. We think that actually there's a, an agenda mm. and they have sat this out and they have thought it through. Mm. And so they just are not used to talking. Mm. I think the honest to God truth is like you and I, they're just scrambling around. Am I wrong? For what, Am yes, I that's what is happening. Bam. It's just shows to me because when whenever they do have something to say they are quick to come out mm -hmm. and they will lay it out and tell you over and over again but usually when they are not they are unprepared mm -hmm. so the silence that you hear is truth is true silence i think it's high time our leaders start learning the act of leadership we are moving to a new generation and 
times are changing. Mm -hmm. We are we the electorates are growing. We are becoming better informed. Yeah. It would be unfair for us we to have leaders who are clueless most of the time, who do not upgrade themselves in terms of how to follow due process and handle things. Do, it would be unfair care. for us and for them as well. Right. It's becoming embarrassing because the truth is the world is watching. Mm.